Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we're still looking at some data analysis, uh, mean, median, mode, range type problems, but um, too many of you guys only ever practice these skills with a list of numbers. The GED is unlikely to just give you a list of numbers. More likely they'll give you your uh, data in a word problem or in a table or a graph like this one. So let's take a look. It says last February four houses sold on Privet Drive. Use the line graph to find the median home price on Privet Drive last February. So what are we finding? We're finding the median home price. But um, unlike some other problems we've done, our data is found on a graph. So we have these four houses, but what did they sell for? Uh, let's take a look at our graph to find out. We can see there's four dots here. The first dot appears to be at the number 270. But be really, really careful. One way that they fool you with graphs is that um, the numbers aren't always exactly what they appear. Be sure to read the labeling on your axes in order to determine what these numbers mean. So let's read. It says sale price in thousands of dollars, in thousands of dollars. So that means that's not just $270. Well, of course it's not. A house wouldn't sell for $270. It's $270,000. And so the first house sold for $270,000. Now let's take a look. The next house that I see of the four houses sold for 210. And of course, since we learned that those are all in thousands of dollars, we'll add the three zeros there to make it in thousands. Looks like the next one sold for 190000 And the last one sold for 250000 Okay, so let's go back to what we've been asked to find. There's our data set. I pulled the data off the graph. But we've been asked to find the median home price. Remember that the median is the centermost number in an ordered list. It's the middle but the list has to be in order. So I should order uh, this list. So um, let's see, my cheapest is 190,000, then comes 210, then 250, then 270,000. Now, of course, I hope you guys know that when you're doing median, you can just take one off the front, one off the back till you get to the middle. But if you end up with two in the middle, we have to find the exact center of those numbers. So when you have two numbers in the middle, you should add them together and divide by two. It's like a mini mean problem, as I call it. You're just finding the center of these two numbers and that will give us the center of this list. So I'll do 210,000 and I'm doing this in my TI 30XS calculator and I'm going to add 250,000 to that and then I'm going to be sure to press enter so that my order of operations works like I want it to and then I'll divide by two and I find that the perfect middle ground here is $230,000. $230,000 is the median. Great. This is probably about as tricky as median problems might get on the GED, so I realize that it's challenging, um, but hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions about this video or any other math or GED topic, be sure to drop them in the comments.